Hello friends. Welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela with another, I think this will be episode four of my purchasing auction lot sight unseen. And so if you've joined in the last few videos, you know that we're working on something special, which I'll explain in a moment. So if you haven't watched those, hop on over so you can see all of the details. But first, a couple of things. This is a Thrifty Thursday haul brought to you by our friend Sherry at Turquoise Streaming. And you can search all of the participants' videos by putting the hashtag, hashtag Thrifty Thursday into the search bar. You'll find my videos along with many, many other talented crafters and thrifty thrifters. And today specifically, I want to mention a few of my friends, Chasing Retro, Marnell at Mimi's Keepsakes, and Patty at Just Journaling with Possum Patty. Hello, ladies. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, so thank you, all of you, for subscribing, for following, and for helping us get to our next milestone, which is our 750 subscribers. So one thing, just to remember, uh, I, I need to mention this, that in the month of June, I am doing a School's Out for Summer sale, so everything will be 20% off. I will continue to be adding some of the things that you've seen in the last few hauls into the Etsy shop for you to uh, peruse. And after video number one, I decided it would be kind of fun as we get, I had something else in mind for uh, our giveaway item for the 750 subscribers. But as I was going through this, I decided this would kind of be fun to add um, different elements that I have found and unboxed and was surprised and delighted in finding and adding them to one of my hundred plus uh, ephemera kits that I have in the shop. And then that will be our giveaway. So um, we've got this pile from episode one. We've got um, some other books and such. And from the last episode, some ledger. I'm not giving you too much peek because I want you to go back and check it out. So we're going to continue on with our journey with the last, I'm going to call it the last lot of what I got, but it's a lot. So we will just get at it. So let's see. Uh, the first one, so at the very bottom of the box was, I'm just making sure that you guys are on camera and I'm moving in this other thing of flowers out of the way. So the other, um, thing that was in the bottom of the the box were full-size scrapbook pages and it was full of sympathy cards. I didn't even really look inside because I was like, oh, that just, I don't know. But I did go through and picked out some that I thought I could fussy cut um, or, you know, use like these were embossed, things like that. Most of which all had flowers on them. Um, this has got lilies embossed. Uh, so this was what I ended up with. Um, I'm just going to flip through these really quick because we've got a lot to go through. Uh, but I just liked uh, some of the flowers. And like I said, you know, it was the whole book was from, you know, sympathy cards from someone for someone. I don't know who. Uh, <clears throat> Look at that, isn't that very 70s looking? So those are the ones that I got. Lots of daisies if I ever decide to do a daisy journal. Some more embossing. More 70-esque. I wonder what kind of flower that is. I don't know, those are morning glories. This was kind of cool because it's <clears throat> acetate. So I'm gonna try to do something with that. I have to apologize. It's the the next morning. I haven't had enough, nearly enough coffee yet. And <clears throat> it's been kind of rainy and icky and ugh. And my allergies, I mean, I'm taking allergy pills every day. So what I think I'm going to do is try to maybe organize these as I go just to make it easy. Um, well, that would make a good journal for a guy. So we'll just kind of do these like this. 
It's pretty. Christmas. More Christmas. This is no shell game. Be mine. I want you for my Valentine. Valentine. Okay, we'll put that over there. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Christmas joy. This one got a little room, but we could use the bells, right? Okay, this isn't working for me because <laughs> I'm already running out of space. Okay, let's move the sympathy cards and we'll use those for some other other theme. We'll do Christmas over here. But yeah, I, I mean, I knew I had bid on greeting cards. I did not know to this extent. What is this? Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. So unless I find something that is really fabulous that I must have for something that I'm working on, um, most of these will all be, <clears throat> depending on the time of year, will all be in the Etsy shop. Because trust me, I have enough greeting cards. Ooh, look at that. Okay, how does that work? I guess it just comes open. And some of these, the inside is just as beautiful as the out. <clears throat> oh, look at the little deer. Oh, dear. And look at that. Oh, sweet. I just love these old cards. I won't look through every, every one in the inside but oh my gosh look at that is this Christmas because it doesn't it's just a greeting oh happy birthday okay we'll put happy birthdays up there Christmas Christmas wish lots and lots of Christmas ones Ooh. Yeah. oh look at that it's come apart well huh this is interesting you guys so you're supposed to be able to pop this out and then use it as the actual, as an actual frame. Break out the perforated panel and paste it in, and paste in your favorite photo. Huh. I think we'll keep this separate and that could be kind of a template and then we'll keep that little frame. This, this is kind of, this is probably my favorite era. Let's see, where is this from? It doesn't have a, I like the kind of retro 50s, 60s um, cards the best. They're my favorites. Oh, there's another one of those. Well, I think we better, I wasn't going to put any Christmas in there, but why not? We'll put that into the, into the giveaway. Here's another one. So cute. Okay. We got lots of Christmas going on. And like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take me or what is in here. So we're just gonna go as far as we can and we might have to do this in another video. <clears throat> oh, see, look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, and look. Okay, this is for dad at Christmas. We're just gonna put it with the dad pile. Wouldn't it be fun if there was just like, mm, a couple bucks in here in one of these? These are like the ones that all, this has a long letter. Okay. Move a little faster, Ange. Birthday. Oh, look at them whooping it up. <laughs> okay, are these Christmas? That's pretty. Christmas. Christmas. More Christmas. Ugh. I don't know about you, when, but when I watch all my other Thrifty Thursday friends doing these, I'm like, I'm so enthralled. Like, I'm, I can't wait until they show the next thing. <laughs> okay, these are all like grandfather, dad. That's pretty. It's got some glitter on it. Ooh, and look at that. Wouldn't that make a cute journal page? Sweet. 
Okay, I'm hoping we have some more besides Christmas. This is a lot. Of, well, not that I mind, but. Oh, look at the little birdies. That's cute. Christmas wishes. This looks kind of dad-ish. We're going to put that over there. Happy birthday. Oh, we got one with the wishing well. Oh, look at them. All opening their presents together. That's cute. This is just a greeting. Let's just say generic. We'll put that there. What's this? This is Mother's Day. Okay, well, Mother's Day we're going to put over there. More Christmas. So how have you guys been? Um, today was Demi's last day of her sophomore year. And she said she was getting ready to go. And she's always, you know, she wants to be on time. And she's, you know, hurries. And I'm like, hey, you can't leave. I have to go take pictures of you. She's like, okay, but hurry up. I've got to get to get going. She goes, I can't believe you remembered. I'm like, how could I forget? Like, oh, I'm a mom. You remember those things. Oh my goodness. Look at the kitties. Mm. So cute. That's pretty. Lots of pastels. The, the way that I did these before, um, is I did them, you know, by, if it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever. And then I did them in like the, like a retro pack. And then, you know, just by color, like pastels and things like that. And that seemed to work pretty well. Cute. Oh, I'm going to put that in the, oh, that one too. And to the guy pile. Oh, look at the sweet little angel. She's flocked. <laughs> Got it. So nothing inside. Okay. I keep turning these around, and every time I turn them around, then they're upside down again. Oh, look at Santa. These are going to be so much fun. Oh, what's this? Hmm. It's like a tiny little placemat. That's kind of what it looks like. I wonder what they use these for. Or maybe it was inside of a card somewhere. Ooh. A postcard from the Luray Caverns in Virginia. Okay, we'll put that in miscellaneous. Oh, wait, here's another one. That looks like a, yeah, this is a reproduction. Cute. Oh, see, here's another one. This is my vibe. It's my jam. <clears throat> So today, well, I had yesterday, I was almost done. It says a birthday message for Pop. Uh, like, seriously 10 seconds away from finishing my video and my camera stopped. So, the, my son keeps saying, Mom, why don't you just use your camera? I have a really nice camera. And... I'm like, cause it's, then I have to put it on my laptop. <laughs> and it's just, uh, for me, like working on my phone and uploading that way is just easiest. These look like they're out of an old book. I'm going to put those over in the miscellaneous. It's really nice to get some that are uh, male related instead of, you know, kind of girly girl. So that's, that's nice. Um, so I did break down and bought an arm for my camera. My camera's pretty heavy. Um, the only thing, oh, that's Father's Day. Interesting. That's in real rough shape with a little feather to add to it. Oh, that came from this. Hope your birthday shapes up well. <laughs> that's cute. I love anything with airplanes on it. I'm going to put that in kind of the male themed. So I did get an arm. My concern is that um, in my craft room, the way that I have my camera set up now, it's clamped to 
a shelf. So it's nowhere near me. I, I have all my space and it doesn't get bumped. And I'm hoping that I can figure out a way. Oh, look at this homemade one. Oh, these are some of my favorites. Oh, this is an invitation to attend the Mud Something School Wednesday evening, the 22nd at 8 o'clock. Please bring pie. And sandwiches for your family. Hmm. We'll put that in the miscellaneous one. Um, so I don't... I'm hopeful that the one I got, I can adjust so I can still keep it up on my shelf and not have it impede in my craft area because that would be bad. And then I would bump it. I know I would. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't work for well. What's this? To thank you. Look at that. Look at that paper clip. It's like a teardrop shape. Okay, we'll put that in the miscellaneous. So that's a thank you. Let's see. More of my jam. Oops, some, we're finding little stamps here and there. Oh, here's one that's like a partial die cut. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's move along a little faster. Happy Father's Day. More Christmas. Ooh, that's pretty. What's this for? This is just a letter. Hmm. Put that there. Birthday with some tulips. Lots and lots of Christmas cards. And you know what? We're not even a third of the way through this box. But you never know. There might be just a magical gem in here. That's the fun of it. These are both Christmas. Christmas. Oh, look at the tiger. For my great-grandpa on Father's Day. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Let's see if... I thought maybe they'd have that little child's handwriting. That's always cute. Lots of good, good, good cards for, for you to all play with. That's for sure. There's a birthday card. And they're all in really good shape. Oh, this is just kind of... It's interesting how many of the Father's Day uh, cards have, like, florals on them. Oh, goodness. Cheery greetings. Merry Christmas. Little fairy snowflakes dancing in the flue. Old Mr. Santa Claus, what is keeping you? Twilight and firelight, shadows come and go. Merry chime of sleigh bells tinking through the snow. Mother knitting stocking. Don't you think that winner's... Pleasant, ap pleasant, er than all. <laughs> oh, from Dolores. Oh, that's cute. Another postcard, birthday. Oh, love that. Ooh, that's pretty. This dad was very well loved. That's for sure. Christmas. Ooh, look at that. That's even got the fuzzies on it. Ooh, more stamps. Those can go in the... Oh, and the stamps are all dry. By the way, the ones that we did in video number two where I showed you my trick to <clears throat> getting them if apart if they're stuck. So they're all done. Christmas, Christmas. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, I did not expect this at all. This is just a lot of cards. And the interesting thing was, is that the, uh, I have to get some of this off of here. It's just little, little glitter and little pieces of, oh, there we go. Um, 
the auction was really um, geared towards a lot of coin collectors. So um, they weren't, you know, this wasn't their, wasn't their thing. They weren't, they were looking for coins and I don't remember what else what all else was in there. Lots of coins. I know nothing about coins, but then I did see some that had the, uh, what do you call them? The little coin holders. And I was like, hmm, but they all had coins in them. So I wasn't going to bid about against those. Oh, that's pretty. Not even used. That's nice. Yeah, I wasn't going to bid against the experts, but. So, yeah, but I just, I take so many pictures of, and then I do lots of videos of Demi when she's at bat and that I, I run out of space and then have to delete, you know, old videos, which I've come to terms with the fact that once I've uploaded them, I just delete them, you know, because while I'd like to keep them, I don't know what this is all about. Well, it's garbage, but it's like a calling card. Um, it's just, I can't. You know, I have to just be okay with it. They're out there. If I ever have to redo them or something happens, then I'll deal with that at that time. Just remind me of that if it ever does happen. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. That's very different. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Is that supposed to be there? Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of different. We'll, we'll put that with it because it was there, but I don't think that it was supposed to be. Happy birthday, Father. I'm just going to put that with the birthday bell. Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I told you that we had Landon's graduation this week. <clears throat> it was pouring down rain. The same thing happened at Sam's graduation. So, like, after graduation, we couldn't get photos because it was pouring and everybody was, you know, headed outside. And I was at um, Drake University. So, you know, it was kind of... There's lots of traffic and, and a lot of rain. So we, you know, ran in as fast as we could. Well, Dave dropped Demi and I off and then went to find a, a parking spot. And he couldn't figure out where we were at. Well, I don't know that he couldn't figure it out, but he went a different, went through a different door to come in. So I was going to look for him. And then apparently as soon as I left, he came from the other direction. I've got to just adjust this a little bit. This is how much we have left. That's a lot. Uh, so then they texted me and said, okay, he's, he's here. That is super cute. And she, that's velvety too. So I was like, well, I'm going to run to the restroom. Well, <laughs> I had this bracelet like a cuff bracelet and you just like open it up and then it clips back pops back together and I had this like flowy dress and I was just, I didn't want it to get like you know, touch the bathroom floor so I was kind of like holding the bottom of it like you would a wedding dress well when I got in the stall I hit it hit my bracelet the bracelet fell into the toilet and I was like well, that's where it's going to stay. I mean, that was like, I had just walked into the bathroom. I'm like, I'm not digging that thing out. So I can kiss that bracelet goodbye. I'm like, really? I mean, she's only me. Valentine's. Those are, that's the story of my life. The goofy things that happen. So I'm like, if I wouldn't have gone to look for Dave, I wouldn't have taken a time out to go to the pate. And I probably wouldn't have lost my bracelet, but I'd had it for like, I mean, it was just costume jewelry. I'd had it for probably 20 years, so. But it's gone. 
but it was just such a kind of a cluster. Because it was, I mean, it wasn't like people could kind of loiter about outside. Because um, it was pouring. And the funny thing is, is it poured. And then, um, kind of by the time that the graduation started, it kind of let up a little bit. And then just started all back up. <laughs> as soon as as it was done. Ooh, look at the cherry blossoms. Okay, we're making some headway. Let me look at the time. Oh, we're doing good. We might get through this whole stack. You guys might be bored. And if you are, I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of fun to see what's in here. So yeah, that was there was that. Oh, I know. Speaking of vintage and retro. I have been waiting to tell this story about my news, and I was going to share it a couple of weeks ago, but, uh, so for the, I grew up camping. Um, my kids, we, you know, had a camper. First we tent camped, then we had a camper, and it's just been something that we do. Dave and I like to camp, and we have, I have a dream. I don't know if it's really his dream, but it's my dream to have like an RV, like a motorhome and just to travel. I told him, I said, we could get one of those where we can have like a traveling dental office in the, in the back. He didn't think that, that was uh, a very good idea, but that is in rough shape. But I tease him about it anyway. Um, and then... You know, I love the, like, the vintage, vintage-y, like, the little teardrop campers and such, and have always just wanted a, a small one. Well, we, I wanted, like, extra little spaces, like, like a tiny cabin or something at our acreage. Um, so we have extra room, both in the summer and the winter, just something fun, you know. And so we thought about, you know, someday doing something like that. Well, I was at the our, at our event venue on our way home and this little tiny town that I go through. What are these? Oh, this is Christmas. Um, there was some garage sales. So I stopped by one and there was a woman there, sweet, sweet lady. And... Uh, she had a, this is grandfather, sorry. She had um, a, it was a 1967, oh goodness gracious. Now I can't remember the name of it. Oh, Shasta something, maybe Eagle. I don't know. Cuter than cute. Had It was pink. She had redone the whole thing inside and... I was like, I, I mean, it's super, super cute. I would probably decorate it, you know, different if it were me. Um, just, you know, with my, with the spin on it. Um, and the outside was halfway done, like repainted. Um, it was pink on the bottom, a really pink, pretty vintage pink. And so Dave was on his way over and um, I texted him and one of our friends and his, one of his best friends. And I was like, send him pictures of it. And she had said, you know, I've had this for three years. Um, I use it. She calls it her she shed and she just goes and hangs out, hangs out in it and just right there at her home. And she's like, but I think, you know, it's time for me to, to part with it. So we got to visiting and she and I sat in there and, and talked. So long story short, our friend Eric convinced Dave that I needed to have it. So I now have a vintage camper. It needs, I need to, it needs a few things um, that Dave needs to, to address. If we want to actually take it somewhere, it um, we have to get some new tires on it. It needed a jack because it had just been sitting at their home. Well, who is this? 
Congressman Chester L. Chet Mize from Atchison, Kansas. Okay, we'll put that over there. Um, so yes, I named her Poppy and she is currently at our mo uh, mother. She's currently at our um, rental house right, right around the corner from our venue. So I need to go. And she, she sold it to us with everything and they surprised me. So, uh, you know, uh, they kind of, they went together to look at it and Dave's like, ah, I just really need to think about it. And they made some excuse that they were, had to, I don't know what they were doing. Something, um, they're going on that Boundary Waters trip. And so, um, Dave, oh, that's cute. Dave said, I'm going to go take one more look at it and then I'm going to think about it overnight. And I'm like, okay. And he got home. And for some reason, I we had kind of mixed our cars around and I had left mine sitting out. And he's like, can you tell me where, sh where should I park the truck? I know the kids need to get out. I thought, well, that's kind of weird. And I walked out and there she was. So I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping that I can get... Um, that we can actually take it camping. It's tiny. I mean, it's really tiny. But you know, that's what it's all about. And I, it's just going to be so fun. So now I'm telling, I told um, my sister, my sister would probably go with us camping, but she doesn't, she has no desire to have like a tiny camper. My mom has always, oh my gosh, that is so cute. My mom has always wanted one so and my sister-in-law too so I'm like okay it's time for you guys to get one we can all just have girls weekend yeah that's gross um so yeah that was my most exciting news what is going on here with all these little I don't know what they're for so yes um she has she Sold it with everything in it. Now, I, I haven't even really looked. Look at that. Cute. So I really don't know what's in there. But then she even had stuff like all of the things that she decorated with at Christmas. And she said she would, you know, light it up at night and have it on, you know, kind of on display, if you will. Um... And she left all of that in there, too, so I'm excited to kind of see what's in there. Well, that's cute. Different. Oh, here's another. Threads of Gold by Helen Marion Burnside. I like those little calling cards. So that's one of my <clears throat> things while they're on their trip. And I'm doing all of my other things over there. I've got lots and lots of stuff to do both at the venue and at the rental. I need to uh, get it back and up and running to Airbnb it because it's we've been remodeling it. Oh, that's not, look at that. That's a homemade Easter card. Oh, an excellent Easter party has been planned for Friday afternoon at the Chester School. We are expecting you to be present. No excuses. <laughs> will be accepted. We begin exactly at three o'clock. That is cool. That is really cool. Oh, you know what? We need to throw in, we're going to put this in there too. <laughs> I was forgetting. Let's do that one too. And a grandfather card. Jeez. I wasn't doing very well. Adding to it because I was talking. It's a generic. Oh, this is cute. So I don't know. Um, it is too heavy for me to. I mean, obviously, I have a car, not a. I don't have an SUV. Dave has a truck, and then, but I think we can. Um, I think we will be able to pull it with the Jeep too. So that would be kind of fun to take it on a little road trip. 
all the possibilities. And it's got like cute curtains in it that have little campers and stuff. So it's perfect. I mean, she did a great job. Uh, I guess we have two Easter's now. Put that over here. Um, but I think, you know, since I named her Poppy, I feel like I need to do something fun. So if you guys have good ideas, you just let me know. Of course, then I look at things on Pinterest and such, and I'm like, oh my goodness, the ideas and all of the fun. Mm. And apparently, I don't, I mean, I haven't, I've kind of seen this on, on different things before, but um, there's a whole community of, you know, vintage camper groups, I guess. And I think they have like, oh, well, I don't know, what do you call them? I think they caravan, like they go from place to place and then they meet up. Well, that's cool. So I don't know. I don't know if that's really something. <coughs> this is a blotter. Ink blotter. That I would be into, but I think if I were um, single, perhaps, I might, you know, that would be a fun thing to do, but go hang out with a bunch of And there's a large group of women. Is this supposed to go together? This is one of those that's like, you know, that like that feel of the, um, it is, I guess, roaring. That's cute. We should keep that over in our templates. Um, like that goes around, they kind of had it on ribbon and stuff that it was that bendy metal. That's what that's made out of. That gold one was too. So yes, I was pretty excited and surprised because, you know, I, I'm I'm just not even going to lie to you. I was already, like, decorating it, <clears throat> looking up things, seeing I found um, poppy wallpaper and <laughs> before I have, and I, I learned a long time ago when we started buying, you know, well, Dave's been doing it for a long time, but when we would buy houses to flip, we're almost done. Last pile, <coughs> except I got dust in my, let's see, we're at 37 minutes. Perfect. Okay. You know, not to give, get my hopes up because I'd already, I would have already designed it in my head or I don't know, sometimes I even wrote it down, you know, like, okay, we can knock out this wall. And, and then if we didn't get the house, then I was like, oh, that was a bummer. So I knew better than to do that, but I did it anyway. <laughs> oh, but it's so cute. And uh, Demi, uh, Demi and neither Demi or Landon, um, Sam and Ray, I haven't seen it yet, but neither Demi or Landon were too impressed with it. They're like, really? <laughs> <clears throat> One of my girlfriends said, um, our daughters play ball together, and she's like, hey, you just need to, <clears throat> something really... Mm, got to me there. Um, you just need to bring it to the, um, that one's in a rough shape, to the ballpark, park it during game day. I'm like, I'm sure Demi would really appreciate that. <laughs> she goes, that could be like tail, it could be tailgating. Uh, she would not be happy with me. But it is cute. You know, when we, um, I, that was always my excuse. Like, we, maybe, we don't have time to have an RV and travel because we wouldn't use it. But um, I always said, you know, with all of these traveling um, tournaments we have, we could save on a place to stay. And the kids would all have a place to hang out when they were in between games. Yeah, it never went over. <laughs> oh, cute. Well, I am glad that you guys joined me on this little fun unboxing. 
Um, it really has been a nice little surprise. I don't know if I would do this. Look at that. Fancy. That same stuff. What's this? Coaster? I don't know, but that will go over in the miscellaneous. Um, I don't know that I would make a habit of just buying lots of stuff. I have no idea what's in them, but um, it was kind of it was kind of cool that I just said, okay, I'm put placing a bid. This is what it is, and if I get it, I get it, and if I don't, I don't. And this looks like it was a tag of some sort. I don't know. And, you know, for this one, they don't, you know, they might not all end up like that, but, um, okay, we have two huge stacks of Christmas. So I'm going to put these back in this box. I'll put them somewhere better than that when we're, when I get to my craft room and so I can store them correctly. Ooh, this, these are all, all of these are Christmas. Okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is just kind of bundle these and I'll get some rubber bands out and put the rest of them together. Um, but anyway, I, you know, like I said, I wouldn't make a habit of just going to an auction and bidding on things sight unseen, but it ended up well for this one. So, um, and we have added to our ephemera kits. We've got four cards. I might add some more because I wasn't paying attention. Um, but that's going to wrap up our series, it looks like. So look for a video from me that will, um, I'll, I'll do an overview of the kit and then everything that I added from, uh, from these hauls that will be added into it. And in that video, I will then show you all or tell you all how to participate, which I haven't really thought about yet, um, in um, in the giveaway of our 750 subscribers, subscriber giveaway. We'll see what happens. Um, but until next time, friends, I wish you all the very, very best. And remember to take time to just be, and we will talk to you soon. Cheers.